If a doctor checked your oxygen, he's like, oh man, your oxygen's great. The problem is, if the bloodstream is leaning too alkaline, the oxygen can't be released from the bloodstream and get into the tissues where it needs to be used. So the result can be you're wiped out and it's like oxygen is there, it just can't get to the right location in order to be properly utilized. So in an effort to correct this, when the bloodstream is too alkaline, the body just slows the rate at which it's breathing Carbon dioxide or CO2 is, is acid inducing in the bloodstream, so the body tries to reduce the amount that you breathe in order to hold on to more of that CO2. And that just allows you to acidify that bloodstream and balance things out. So it's a pretty neat trick that Mother Nature came up with, don't you think? But when you start using these things like, oh, I'm gonna alkalize myself, you're just punching Mother Nature in the face. Mother Nature, you're stupid, I'm gonna take care of this. And you push this alkaline imbalance further into problematic situations. Here's some possible symptoms that could come up if your body is leaning too alkaline. Now, a lot of these symptoms have other possible causes, but these are issues that can come up when the blood is too alkaline. It's chronic fatigue can be a major issue, sleep apnea, joint and muscle pain or, or some types of arthritis, uh, allergies and asthma, muscle cramps, and, and fluid retention. So when we're looking at sleep apnea, you know, a lot of cases it's a structural issue where a flap doesn't seem to be flapping correctly. But there's also a lot of issues where the bloodstream is leaning far too alkaline and the breath rate drops so low that the person basically stops breathing. So that can be one problem with sleep apnea. But when you look at all the trouble an overly alkaline bloodstream can cause, do you see how important it is to look at people as individuals and measure where they are before you start suggesting everybody needs to alkalize, let's come on, we're all gonna die. So just because something brings about an amazing result for one person doesn't mean that it's going to turn someone else into a zombie. You really gotta look at the person.